Hello and welcome to this video. Let's get started with some games. Um, what can we do? Three plus two? Try that. So, uh, was a quick one. Getting pairing here against some guy one or five. So, I went e four. Change. I'm going to, going to play something different. Maybe. Rui. I normally play the four night scotch, but why not something entirely different? I have to basically invent <laughs> invent the wheel here, but not C five would eight, but I don't know this line. Well, the experiment trying to prevent long castling, and if he goes f6, bishop or g3, maybe queen g6. Yeah, I just wondered about this. He's attacking g2 here. Problem. Bit of a problem. Yeah, not good. Try just get even. Okay, maybe. Um, he has some um, ideas like c5 and a uh, bishop. bishop move. Yeah, it looks a bit scary. I could play stuff that I know. <laughs> time and time again, that this is useful to know some stuff. In any case, let's see what happens. Where cast? Castle. Knight h six. Knight h six. Seemed to me very. Uh, but now I'm. I still, I could have played f3. f3 would have been a useful anyway. But again, this is a useful move also. a3 and takes the pawn. So queen f4. Now straight this bishop. Main point of this queen sortie was to get off the d file it was super annoying i think he already has missed um something some continuation that would have been more convenient like he's definitely okay but i thought maybe even more Have to catch up a bit. I'm hmm. I doing this right with the mic? Add some some adjustment. Okay, I, I changed something now. Uh, please let me know if the sound uh, of the first five minutes was better or this one. Would be interesting to know. Right now, knight to d5. It's not going to overlook knight e7, but centralizing probably a good thing.
night air form i don't mind this is probably roughly equal this ending after i um didn't play the opening all that well i'm okay with this outcome. maybe rook a1 that's a choice okay now i can take play rook a7 Test. And he cannot do all that much. Yeah. Speed up a little bit. I have increment, so it's not fantastically urgent. Quickly, but shouldn't be um, behind so much that it gets totally hectic. Okay, so I wanted this. Hack the pawn. Same time, ready for the rook to uh, a b8 or whatever, depending on what he does. For example, now b5, rook h check. Annoying. Five uh, work at all. Yeah, you can actually also check the what's turn. This is frozen now inside of me, and I get uh, can create a passer. As pawns should touch the B and uh, the F pawn. Yeah, so I think I had some issues there in the opening. It was definitely not that great. Um, probably you take with the queen here. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of invented <laughs> this as I went along. And bishop g5 is definitely a bad idea. g6 uh, seems like a problem. Yeah, the computer doesn't really agree initially, but we'll see. Queen d2, f6. I thought he could take on g2. I mean, okay, I'm castling queenside. Funny enough, this is fantastic for me. Okay. You know what is going on here? I can actually, if he castles here, I can play knight e6. Killer, really. Okay. So, this wasn't so bad. I thought there would be something here for him. So, this, I played this back. That was not. I can castle that I did not see at all that this move is actually threatening knight e6, which is a huge threat. Okay. So this was a lame move then. Knight h6. Yeah. It wasn't so bad. Um if he takes, I take with queen. And if he takes here. I thought I can play something slow or queen a5, but queen a5 is probably strong. Yeah, it's very strong actually. He doesn't have a move. So he went back. Now queen f4. That was not good, it seems. Knight a4 is strong. So simply um, playing for an attack, maybe having queen a5 in mind. But okay, queen f4. So we had this, and now black is uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I had e4. Yeah, I was, you know, I kind of thought that I got away with a dodgy position in the opening. I was okay with having this equal position. And somehow, 
this turned out to be um, yeah quite quite okay for me. Rookie oh, one maybe. Yeah. And here I think I'm just a little bit better. Right, this is probably fair. But then he went uh, with this b5 and winning in this. Five is a So I should go C4 instead, yeah. King C3, uh, King C3 also. Yeah, here it was. Uh, so five is still a different. I don't think I could hold. King B. Okay, so you're just staying here, right? So because I'm not really threatening to take on g5 and neither I'm threatening f5. So this could be a draw then. This is crazy. And okay, so if this is a draw, why is this not a draw? Because I managed g5. So in this position, I have to manage g5. Okay. g5 in order to play later g4, f4, f5. They get the passer, so a very, very outside pass. So, from a general point of view, g5 would be right here, probably something. And this wins as well, probably the most precise. Because here, if I get here, I'm just going to win no matter what. Because he's running, he's running out of move. Even here, he's running out of. Move. Now he has to move. Okay, I don't want to analyze that long, <laughs> but it was interesting. So, um, other two. Hit. So, what else can I do? Maybe a carol. I just, I'm just, want you something else usually i'm playing the stuff that i have studied for my accessible repertoires i just know these things quite well after i have written them I tend to forget it but uh why i prefer to to play those in my, in my lids games in particular you need less time simply to come up with something reasonable this is generally used. Okay, so out of this Karo Khan exchange, we got something like um, something that I would call Karlsbad structure reversed. Karlsbad structure is uh, usually coming from Queen's Gambit blind exchange variation. Yeah. It's um, the same kind of structure with reversed colors. I could could have played a5, play b4 for the minority attack, but I wasn't certain after five, maybe he has b4. It is sometimes an idea to first bring the knight to c4 and put some pressure here, and only then play a5 into b4, as this takes um, a white. Or a little bit more difficult. It's a tough call, and in a blitz game, you just have to come up with it. I'm a little bit surprised that White has not played Knight e5 yet, like the most um, yeah, obvious way to play. Okay, this is certainly also okay. I'm going Knight a5. It takes b5 i have 
X. Maybe, maybe he can play bishop b5, queen b6, and then the move the move a4. This is actually a point and do I was just thinking, okay, a6 at some point, but he can just take that. So bishop b5, queen b6, a4, a6, he can simply take. Okay, so this means he should simply take on b5. This is not a bad move. It's strategically completely justified. This would have been interesting uh, to take the pawn. Material um, gain for no clear compensation. Maybe he just has in mind to play on the king side from the get go. You can imagine f4 happening now, f4, f5, for example, would be good. Still have lots of time on my I played quite quickly. That would increment. You can sometimes make those longer time investment. Um, Bishop famously said, if there is increment, there is no time trouble. Not really so great at imitating him, but you know what I'm getting at. A4. That look bit of a drastic decision by right. Okay, if I take B4 now, he he might have knight F7. I have to watch out for knight F7. But there is nothing particularly wrong about taking a simply claiming that I have a good pawn structure. Okay, I could play rook b4, but then rook takes, queen takes, knight takes f7. I already have a very, very good pawn structure, so I absolutely don't mind if I simply do this, ask his rook to go away, probably rook a7, this one, okay. Yeah, rook a8, I maybe b4. Okay. But b4 is hanging. Here, I think, maybe take, no, queen b4, knight f7, king, king f8, rook a7, probably. Hmm. I'm going to play B. Okay, my arm is. Was just uh, wanted to cover F seven. What? Ah, because I'm overloaded. And this he played like in half a second. So King take. Okay. From a pawn down, right? Joke. The white got completely outplayed, but I definitely overlooked something. Not even sure what I overlooked.
Queen d8 probably would have won, but that might win as well. Rook on the seven. No, I couldn't prevent it. I couldn't. Yeah, that, that's a pain. I mean, just this. Uh, this is just losing for white, probably. Not losing. This is so un. <laughs> A4 looks completely ridiculous in my mind, but it's not. It's not losing somehow. So I take it. He takes. Takes. So the first one is I cannot take B4. This, this is clear because Knight F7 is hitting me. Or alternatively, he can take first on b seven. That is a that's a problem. This is not directly lost, but it's not good. At b six, and now I'm in trouble. So knight b six is wrong then. But how can a four be a good move in this position? This is crazy. It's the best move actually. I mean, this Yeah. Yeah, he thought I mean black should be strategically better here. By not a small margin, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So the computer thinks equal. And a4 happens to be the best move, which I find crazy. Because white is killing his structure totally. And he just um it's just a purely tactical consideration, but it does work. Based on knight f7 and so on, it just is hanging by a threat, but it does this work. Yeah, and now b5, four, and he played this instantly. More or less a perfect game by white. Yeah? Aha. I beat him once. Six. Seven. Yeah, I cannot. Be. Rook c1 is a key. Queen d8 is much easier, but if you play perfectly, you play perfectly. Yeah, we all know what's going on, but let's play the next game. So, Talex, going back to my usual. This is a um, pretty good line for white. Nothing decisive, but I always like this situation with the knight on a This um, position yet committed to um, the knight on c3, which can be a pretty substantial difference. The knight on d2 is covering c4 reliably. And um, black often has a big um, burden yeah, to carry with this knight on a5. Never having a good, um, good position. I have to remember to uh, yeah, submit the cheating form the game before. I just don't believe those games. Yeah, he's taking random things. When, when there are normal moves and so on, and then all of a sudden there's a bunch of perfect moves. I know this ha this rarely happens that people have those odd that everything is happening at once. Yeah, like odd time management and and weird strategic decisions, and then all of a sudden they play like they have a chip implanted. Moves like rook c1, you know, these are indicators. Because he had a simple win with, with the check on d8 and rook e7. And so this is what a human would play. It wins, it's easy to see it, do it right. They don't play rook c1. Not even world class. 
Okay, so let's focus on this game. It's just what it is. You have you have those clowns. Every server. Sometimes I get um, get remarks um, um, in the in the comment section if I'm accusing somebody of cheating. Exactly one single time, one single time, I sent out a cheating request, and I got a message from an admin back on the ICC that I just played a world class player and not an engine. Confirmed that it was very strongly played, but he knew that it was yeah somebody way up that was the only false cheating complete so just it just happens and and you have some pretty strong indicators now here this position is nice for white again it's all about offside knight i have a central advantage and it's very difficult for black to drum up some counterplay so my idea was uh, to regroup then push e5. Yeah, just no good way for the knight on b7. And uh, now it's hanging, right? Resigned. Okay. So um, yeah, that was not not much to check. Huh? Not much to check. But we can briefly look at this. I think that when we are here, like the best line here is take and now to play d5 this is basically a whole chapter in my d4 when white more takes and now you can recapture or play knight a3 as um knight c6 um is not terrible but the position after d5 is i think favorable for it because you never really know what to do is also something that scores very heavily player yeah and in the game before he blundered just to show um yeah the engine is already on plus three which is enormous but it's not totally off because i mean these pieces are not defending the king i'm coming with e6 knight g5 and so on it's very dangerous okay so let's go for maybe one more game or one or two games Obi Wan, <laughs> Obi, <laughs> that's a cool name, right? Just wonder how you can have. He only has two games. Now. How do we have like two thousand six hundred blitz and seventeen hundred bullet? But um, it's possible, of course, if you only have two bullet games. If you would have two hundred, uh, be a bit weird. Hey, okay, Nimzo. Mm. Yeah, okay. this is what we have in our Nimzo for Gozen method. We then uh, you bearish the uh, author and I. Okay, d5 was a pre move. Not sure that I would want to make, <laughs> but it's it's playable, let's say. He takes is a pretty strange move. Okay. And now I can do a couple. Something with capturing and fix is definitely okay. Just wonder, C4, I mean, I just wonder what the right timing um, is for. He has played a3. I think I can. Is so. Yeah, bishop a6 is 
normal. I just wonder if he takes it, plays bishop g5. That's extremely annoying. Maybe I take first. Takes bishop g5. I can play queen eight then. Now what? Five. So X was my plan anyway here. Yeah. Edge five still looks like a dangerous move, but I didn't quite see what I could do about it. So this is the thing, I have to play G6, which is not what I want to do. The only thing that is a bit of a consolation is that this, the queenside situation is good. Light squared um bishops traded. What are we doing now? I'm threatening rook c1 part of this at least. So this is an important tempo. What about still rook c1? Rook c1, rook c1, queen g5, queen a6, knight f4. Threatens knight e4, the mate. I can take with the. can take with the f rook. It's, it's funny that this this tactical resource is working. That also means that I'm probably okay. No, I can. I still have rook c1. So queen h3. No, I cannot take on c. Trade on h7. But queen h3. Okay, just goes there, which is not a bad move. Knight d6, queen c2, yeah. But he can move the queen away. That's what he will do. Hanging, but probably queen h4. What else is there? What, what kind of a session is there? Do I play two cheaters? Weird. It is. This is stati statistically weird, you know, because you don't play so many cheaters. So why is this a cheat? Well, that is a completely bullshit opening. Nobody would play like that. Like B3 and then takes. Makes no sense. And then um, they play perfectly. Just perfect. So, um, the top computer at some point takes like five of course will played g5 takes now this is, this is very important he has to go queen e3 this is by far the strongest because 
there is this tactic, and this doesn't work because here, 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 he has queen f1. This is just about holding, otherwise, this would work. Over in queen d3, knight b8, now knight e4 is, of course, move. Six is the best move. Five will be the best move. Five. Come on. It probably doesn't matter. Here, everything will. Just a, it's just a weird game. Yeah, I know. I just it, it's just very hard to believe that, like they played perfectly more or less, and still they would play a ridiculous opening like this. Could be trolling, yes, but you also have those weird incidents where here the move bishop takes e four takes like seven seconds or something like. That. Can you can check this? He takes e four. I took forty seconds, and. White took seven seconds for this recapture. Yeah? You don't see it here because I uh, have the screen differently set up, but you see the move times. There was not a single move by White ever. Yeah, Besides the move 5a3, that was only taking 1.5 seconds. But every other move was more than four seconds. And at times longer. Typical was like five. We have like five seconds. Eight seconds, thirteen. He takes d4 was thirteen seconds here, which is a decision. Knight g5 is possible. In fact, the computer is showing stronger move. I, yeah, it just it's just a weird game. I mean, as I said uh, in in the game before, I have a pretty good track record of uh, calling calling out cheaters, and uh, this is a game I don't believe. I don't believe it. Somebody who has 2600 in bits uh, wouldn't play this opening and have this weird uh, time span simply. I, I don't, I don't uh, buy that. Yeah, I'm sorry. This, these videos um, are kind of weird, <laughs> but it's just what it is. And um, yeah, I'm going to, we'll see what happens. I'm going to call those cheats and see what happens. The first one was one where ab that was absolute sure. Absolutely, absolutely, totally sure. And uh, this one is like a 90% call, but I would uh, be also reasonably sure. Currently, this guy is playing here um, against Fisher and whatnot. Okay, anyway, I'm going to do one more game. d4 and um, really weird. Don't have that many cheat. Yeah, just I just, I just I to London. Is pulling into a arrow exchange. This is something that maybe somebody should investigate. It's because this is a structure I had that earlier. Yeah, the, that's good. This is something that Magnus plays tremendously successfully. Really, really uh, remarkable how good he scores on the white side of this structure. Tons of games in Rapid, Blitz, and uh, Classical. Yeah, I'm also quite happy now. Knight is really nice. Right? Bishop is... Yeah, this, this is a move. I can take e7. And just take that important pawn. Okay, uh, this queen is sort of, sort of squares, but way to try.
That is just good. Now, I don't have a really cannot key, but it doesn't really fine. Just have to make sure that rook takes e5 never be really annoying. This pawn has to do two jobs, but he takes e5, d takes the knight is hanging. Okay, this was not a cheater. Okay, okay, I'm I'm going to wrap this video up. You can discuss about my call of the two possible cheats. Um, the first one is a one hundred percent. I don't really. That's nothing that I would argue about at all. The second one, like a ninety percent call on my end. I'm going to report them and see what happens. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope it was interesting. Anyway, bye bye.